Question 1. Explain production planning in applied engineering. Answer. Production planning is the planning of production and manufacturing processes in a company or industry. It utilizes the resource allocation of activities of employees, materials and production capacity in order to serve different customers. Question 2. Do you know inventory control in applied engineering? Answer. Inventory control is the supervision of supply, storage and accessibility of items in order to ensure an adequate supply without excessive oversupply. It can also be referred as as internal control and accounting procedure or system designed to promote efficiency or assure the implementation of a policy or safeguard assets or avoid fraud and error etc. Question 3. What is scheduling? Production processes in applied engineering. Answer. Scheduling is the process of arranging, controlling and optimizing work and workloads in a production process or manufacturing process. Scheduling is used to allocate plant and machinery resources, plan human resources, plan production processes and purchase materials. Question 4. What is control chart in applied engineering? Answer. Control charts, also known as Schuhart charts after Walter A. Schuhart or process behavior charts. In statistical process control are tools used to determine if a manufacturing or business process is in a state of statistical control. Question 5. What is product design in applied engineering? Answer. Product design is the process of creating a new product to be sold by a business to its customers. A very broad concept, it is essentially the efficient and effective generation and development of ideas through a process that leads to new products. In a systematic approach, product designers conceptualize and evaluate ideas, turning them into tangible inventions and products. The product designer's role is to combine art, science, and technology to create new products that people can use. Their revolving role has been facilitated by digital tools that now allow designers to communicate, visualize, analyze, and actually produce tangible ideas in a way that would have taken greater manpower in the past. Question 6. What is Applied Engineering Sciences? Answer. The Applied Engineering Sciences major is systems-driven. One defining characteristic of the ICE program is the concentration chosen by each student. ICE students are generalist engineers who take a systems-level perspective on problem-solving in general. ICE students embody the principles of the Engineer of 2020, National Academy of Engineering 2004. The Engineer of 2020, visions of engineering in the new century, especially on being broadly educated in engineering, being an effective leader and communicator, and being a lifelong learner. Question 7. Tell us can you solve problems with your hands as well as your head? Answer. It's one thing to tackle engineering problems in a theoretical, cerebral context. But often you've literally got to get your hands dirty to make something work the way it's supposed to. Question 8. Tell us are you keeping pace technically and technologically? Answer. Just because you felt technically and technologically up to date two years ago, it doesn't mean you'll be viewed that way today. If you want to be taken seriously, be able to share a detailed listing of thoughtfully chosen continuing education activities with the interviewer. Perhaps you're pursuing your professional engineering license, or maybe you're completing a short online course on sensor technology. Question 9. Do you know when to do start ICE coursework once entered MSU? Answer. As part of the College of Engineering, most ICE students take EGI 100 during their first or second term, right alongside other students in the College of Engineering. In addition, Many ICE students have the Corey experience as their home base for the freshman year. Corey is a residential, living learning community serving College of Engineering students. It's a residence hall experience but with a twist. More than 60% of the students in the hall are engineering students. The first ICE specific course you will talk will be EAST 210, taken during the second term of your sophomore year. This course focuses on globalization issues and provides you with your introduction to systems modeling and systems thinking. Question 10. Tell me what is occupational safety and health regarding applied engineering? Answer. Occupational safety and health, OSH, also commonly referred to as occupational health and safety, OHS or Workplace Health and Safety WHS, is an area concerned with the safety, health and welfare of people engaged in work or employment. The goals of occupational safety and health programs include to foster a safe and healthy work environment. OSH may also protect co-workers, family members, employers, customers, 
and many others who might be affected by the workplace environment. In the United States the term occupational health and safety is referred to as occupational health and occupational and non-occupational safety and includes safety for activities outside of work, 